Hi, my name is Caesar, and this is my friend CJ. And this is how we make Google Slide presentations. Was that not specific enough? Alright, let me explain. Simple as this, since CJ can't talk and I can't go inside the computer like he can, these presentations require teamwork, which means CJ presents the slide while I voice the slide. And that's how we create CJ Slides. Someday, I'm going to become the greatest Hokage! Hey! Shut up! Oh! Hey guys, so I figured today, we talk about anime. And what I mean by anime, the origins of anime, its popularity, and more, including live interviews. So, let's go! Uh, I, I mean, Yuko! Orange Nation So, anime's origin traces back to the beginning of the 20th century. In the late 1910s, the very first animators for anime were Oten Shimikawa, Juninchi Kawachi, and, who can forget, Sacharoro Kitayama. I think that's how you say their names. The three of them were known as the fathers of anime. In 1907, the very first animation in Japan was known as Katsuro Shazin, aka the very first anime. <laughs> According to Takamasa Sakurai, he claims anime is popular because the genre has been widely accepted by unconventional nature. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means either. Mainly, anime takes place in Japan. Meaning, the characters are living off the Japanese culture, in my opinion, which seems kind of fun. Uh, where's Goku? I thought he was lined up with you guys. Bunka. What Japanese culture am I talking about? Well, let's see. Japan was said to be heavily influenced by China during the Edo era. Japan has a strict isolation policy closing the doors to the outside world, therefore, their culture was created. But what does their culture have to do with anime? Well, yes, the characters eat ramen and do traditions, but that's because anime is made in Japan. And because of that, anime takes place in Japan. Hey, get off my car! Uh, sorry! Convention. Who can forget the conventions? An anime convention is where all fans cosplay dressing up as their favorite characters. Cosplaying shows how much fans enjoy anime, and I think cosplaying seems like a lot of fun. Okay, so before we continue, I just wanted to bring out a fun fact. Did you know that anime characters are named after food or nature or anything else? Well, here are a few examples. Goku, which his real name is Kakarot, translates to carrot. Sakura is named after the cherry blossom. Takagi is a surname for tall tree. And Midori translates to green. Very strange names. Anyways, now it's time for... Welcome to CJ Interviews. So, for the rest of the video, this is no longer CJ Slides. <laughs> hmm. I think I burnt the logo. Whatever. So, what we're going to do is interview people on what they think about anime. We got four people from the real world who agreed to give out their answers. So, let's begin. Let the interviews begin! Alright, so our first interview person is Sophia McDaniel. So, we're going to be asking you five questions about anime and your opinion on it. Okay. Okay, so your first question, what do you like about anime? Anime, I like that it's kind of like an escape from reality. It's super different from the real world. <laughs> and that 
some some characters are like very like. So our next question: How much time do you spend watching anime? Not a lot. Only sometimes on my good days. Yeah. So I'm gonna say about um, probably three times a week. Yeet. <laughs> Times. Would you consider yourself as a weeaboo? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever at one point want to make your own anime one day? Yes! If I like learn those skills and learn how to do like drawings and animation, of course that would seem like fun. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add? No. Alright, thank you for your time. Would you like to cover the lens? <laughs> Alright, that was Sophia's interview. Now, it's time for our next person! Alright, our next interview person is Sean Moss. Hi everyone, I'm Pro HD TV. So, we are going to be interviewing you as well. We're going to be asking you five questions and about anime. Okay, that's okay. the way. So, first question, what do you like about anime? Well, I like the way like it looks, like the way it all cartoony. I mean, you can't relate it to Disney, but I mean, the Japanese people, they put their best work into making it, so I'm not gonna like have trouble with it or anything. Seems like they put more work on designing their eyes, am I right? <laughs> they have big eyes. <laughs> okay, so, um, would you ever want to make your own anime one day? I actually, I have made my own. I actually drew a picture of one of my fictional characters from one of my new books in anime form. What's your favorite anime and why? Honestly, my favorite one is Pokemon because I just the way of how it's made. All of the cool creatures and like how everyone acts and like, I think there's like movies and shows on it and like all the games. Like I've actually never played any of the games, but I really enjoyed Pokemon. Can, do you have any anime character impressions? Sadly, no. Ah. Uh, Except maybe one. What is pika, it? pika! Anything anime-wise you'd like to add? Nope. Okay, thank you for your time. Would you like You're to welcome. Would you like to cover the lens? <laughs> Alright, two down and two more to go. Now just a heads up for the third interview. You're gonna hear a couple sound errors because, well, the interview was really quiet, so there so I tried to I tried to edit it as much as I can, but whatever. Here's the third interviewer. All right, guys, for our third interview person, we have Ariana. Hey guys. So, we are going to be asking you a few questions about anime and your opinion on them. Okay, so first question, what do you like about anime? Usually, I like anime, especially I love it how they put on drawings and stuff to make sure they, they like recreate it. Can you make any anime drawings? Yep. I've always made them whenever I just like, play games a lot. How long have you been drawing for? Um, I don't know, like a couple of, I don't know, like minutes, hours. All right. So, uh, I mean like years or? Mm, when I got started. Would you recommend anime to others? Um, sort of, because I haven't even gotten to it yet, but I'll try my best to like, do my best to draw some anime on it. Would you ever want to make your own anime one day? Of course, because I usually love to draw anime. What's your favorite anime and why? My favorite anime is like um, Dragon Ball because I love it how they like make it in English and Japanese. They also managed to put it in Dragon Ball Universe too, and I love that game a lot. All right, thank you for your time, and thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so would you like to cover the lens? Yep. yep. All right, one more interview. All right, guys, for our fourth person, we have Gavin, also known as Scar Games. So, we're going to be asking you five questions of your opinion on anime. Okay, so, our first question, what do you like about anime? Anime is, well, it's basically a Japanese cartoon, and it's different from all the regular cartoons. So, uh, SpongeBob and all that are, they're cartoons from America, and Japanese shows add a lot more into it, and different, uh, it creates creativity into it and that's what I like about it. Our next question, would you ever want to make your own anime one day? No, it takes too much work and effort to put into um, to put into an anime film. Yeah, I would love to voice act, but I would never anime or try to work on digital art with it, even though I am a digital artist. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and if you were like designing a character, probably put a lot more work on their eyes, huh? Yeah. But you consider yourself a weeaboo. No. No? Weeaboo, weeaboos is a bad term uh, for people who watch anime, in my opinion. So, no, I would not say I'm a weeaboo. Would you recommend anime to others? Yeah, I would recommend anime. There are multiple animes that are either action-packed or heartfelt. Okay. What's your favorite anime and why? My favorite anime at the moment would have to be uh, My Hero Academia. It brings a lot of action to the show and a lot of heartfelt moments between the characters and it brings a lot more than other uh, shows would. Alright, anything else you'd like to add? If you are a person that does not enjoy action, felt, and quick scenes and also subtitles, don't watch it because anime has all three of those. They have action-packed scenes. Uh, majority of the animes are in Japanese, so you have to put on subtitles, and it's good all around, but not in this case. All right, thank you for your time, Gavin. Would you like no to cover problem. the lens? Well, that's the end of our interviews. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys hear a noise? What the? Whoa, 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 whoa! What is going on? And why are these kids enjoying this fall? Space Ghost, please, I'm sorry, I can explain. I just need to use your background for the interview. Please don't kill me! Uh, what the? Oh, no. oh, they're gone! No! <laughs> what? What? Uh, oh. Whoa! <laughs> ah, Goku, thank you! Man, I really- <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna leave. Wait, it, wait, isn't that my bus? That's my bus! Hey! Wait! Wait! You know what? I'm in the anime world! Shadow Clone Jutsu! It worked! Come on, guys! Let's get out of here!